open all the cells known and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you, worship you, and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Shall we all rise and begin our worship by singing hymn number 72. Hymn 72. Teacher, now we'll be having our lessons. Nam Padavagam, Purpada Pustavam, Muna Mathiaim, Unudal, Padaninchuere Purpada, Muna Mathiaim, Unudal, Padaninchuere Exodus, Chapter Three, Verses One to Fifteen Mosha Mithiande Purogenum, Tande Amai Pinumaya, Itro in the Ardula Machundrino, Avan Ardula Medufumike. Aparta Devitin de Varuda Maya, Hero Bure Kundiano, Aude Yahoo de Duden, Vurimulpada Pinena Dulna, Adijadil Avena Partitionai, Aveno Kiare, Mulpada Perti Budicha, Katunodum, Mulpada Per Venduva de Rikinum Kando, Mulpada Per Venduva de Rikina, Evali Gaicha and Dana, Aventuna Nogote, Enna Mosha Parano, Hoka and the Navanaro, Vidanada. Yehova Gandapol, Devam, Mulpada Prindana Dulnana, Avene Moshe Moshe in Ulichu, Adene Avenida Nyanana Varano, Apol Aven, Nyota de Kerida, Ninel Kuna Stalambis, the Stalamagial, Kalin, the Cherry Perchalaga in the Kalpicho, Aven Abraham in De Deum, Isaac in De Deum, Yakub in De Deumai, Nindabida in De Deum Agunu in them, Aven Arulichedo. Mosha, Devate no Kuan Piperta, Muhammadin Yehova, Richeda, Misra Mulla and the Janathan Nagash de Nyankandu, Uriya Vijayra and Mar, Nivutamula, Avade Nilabal in Kirtu, Nyan Avade Sangarangalarino, Avare Misra Mirode Gailuna, Vudipanum, Ade Shatuna, Aladum Mishalu Maya, De Staker, Palim Tainum, Uruna De Staker, Kananir, Hithir, Amodir. Perisir, Hibir, Yabusir, Inurda Salateke, Avre Kundu Oinum, Nan Irangi Manirikino, Israel Makulode, Nilavali, India de Kaletirikino, 
മിശ്രി മിർ അവരെ ഞെരുക്കുന്ന ഞെരുക്കവും ഞാൻ കണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നു ആകയാൽ വരിക നീ എൻ്റെ ജനമായ ഇസ്രായേൽ മക്കളെ മിശ്രയിൽ നിന്ന് പുറപ്പെടുവിക്കേണ്ടതിന് ഞാൻ നിന്നെ പറവോൻ്റെ അടുക്കൽ അയക്കും മോശ ദൈവത്തോട് പറവോൻ്റെ അടുക്കൽ പോകുവാനും ഇസ്രായേൽ മക്കളെ മിശ്രയിൽ നിന്ന് പുറപ്പെടുവിപ്പാനും ഞാൻ എന്തുമാത്രമുള്ളൂ എന്നാ പറഞ്ഞു അതിന് അവൻ ഞാൻ അവനോടുകൂടെ ഇരിക്കും നീ ജനത്തെ മിശ്രയിൽ നിന്ന് കൂട്ടിക്കൊണ്ട് വരുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ ഈ പർവ്വതത്തിങ്കൾ ദൈവത്തെ ആരാധിക്കുമെന്നുള്ളത് ഞാൻ നിന്നെ അയച്ചതിന് അടയാളമാകും എന്ന് അരളി ചെയ്തു മോശ ദൈവത്തോട് ഞാൻ ഇസ്രായേൽ മക്കളുടെ അടുക്കൽ ചെന്ന് നിങ്ങളുടെ പിതാക്കന്മാരുടെ ദൈവം എന്നെ നിങ്ങളുടെ അടുക്കൽ അയച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ അവൻ്റെ നാമം എന്തെന്ന് അവർ എന്നോട് ചോദിച്ചാൽ ഞാൻ അവരോട് എന്തുത്തരം പറയണം എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചത് ചോദിച്ചു അതിന് ദൈവം മോശയോട് ഞാനാകുന്നവൻ ഞാനാകുന്നു ഞാനാകുന്നു എന്നുള്ളവൻ എന്നെ നിങ്ങളുടെ അടുക്കൽ അയച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു എന്നിങ്ങനെ നീ ഇസ്രായേൽ മക്കളോട് പറയണം എന്ന് കൽപ്പിച്ചു ദൈവം പിന്നെ ഈ മോശയോട് അരളിച്ച എന്തെന്നാൽ നീ ഇസ്രായേൽ മക്കളോട് പ്രകാരം പറയണം അബ്രഹാമിൻ്റെ ദൈവവും ഇസഹാക്കിൻ്റെ ദൈവവും യാക്കൂബിൻ്റെ ദൈവമായി നിങ്ങളുടെ പിതാക്കന്മാരുടെ ദൈവമായ യഹോവ എന്നെ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഇടയിൽ ഇടയിൽ അയച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു ഇത് എന്നേക്കും എൻ്റെ നാമവും തലമുറ തലമുറയായി എൻ്റെ ജ്ഞാപകവും ആകുന്നു The second lesson is taken from Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. The former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up, after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles who he had chosen, to whom also he shewed himself, after, himself alive after his passion by his many infallible proofs. being seen of them forty days, and speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of God, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which, saith he, ye have heard me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, They asked of him, saying, Look, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, it is, not, it is not for you to know that the times of the season, which the Father had put into his own power, but ye shall receive power, then that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto, unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they behold, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of the sight. And while they looked at it steadfastly toward heaven as he went out, behold, two men stood behind them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why, why stand ye gazing up into heaven, this same Jesus, which is taken up? This is the end of the first and second lesson.
It's your light that shines upon our world. Light our minds. May your light reveal the sin in our hearts as we humbly pray in spirit and truth. One who dwells on high in mansions of light cleans our hearts and souls we lift them up unto you. Grant us purity of thought and mind that our prayers may rise up to the Christ, born of Mary, baptized by John. Have mercy upon us. We magnify you, O Lord our King, the only begotten Son, Word of the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, immortal in your nature, who was born for the Virgin Mary, for the life and salvation of all humankind. Without change of nature, you became the Son of Man and was crucified for us, thus trampling death underfoot and destroying it forever. You are one in the Holy Trinity and are worshipped and glorified equally with your Father and of your living in your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, almighty Lord. Holy art thou, immortal Lord. O that that was crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, almighty Lord. that was crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, almighty Lord. Holy art thou, immortal Lord. O that that was crucified for us, have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have Bless with the essence of your holy gospel, the teachings of the apostles, the riches of your divine wisdom, and the gift of your Holy Spirit. Enable us to obey your commands gladly and to fulfill your holy will perfectly. Amen. From the Epistle of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. Praise to you, O Lord of the Apostles. Lord, grant us grace to discern your word. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uniform about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. We believe that Jesus has died and rose again, so that we believe that God will bring with Jesus those 
but fall asleep with him. According to the Lord's will, we tell you that we are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. So the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, who we are are still alive, and our left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another all with these words. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Offer sacrifice of praise to the Lord. Come and worship in his holy court. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, let us stand in silence, awe, and reverence and listen to the proclamation of the living word of God from the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Peace be with you all. May the Lord make us all worthy to listen to his word. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which proclaims life and salvation to the world, as recorded by the Apostle Matthew. Blessed is who has come and will come again. Praise to the Father who sent him for our salvations. May his blessings be ever upon us. In the days of Jesus the Christ, our Lord and God, Word of Life, God incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary, he taught in this manner. So we believe and affirm. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered to him and he will separate people one from another as a sheep shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food? Or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it for the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are accursed, depart from me, for the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger and you did not welcome me. Naked and you did not give me clothing. Sick and in prison and you did not visit me. Then they will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did not do it for one of the least of these, you did not do it for me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Peace be with you all. And also with you, we thank you, Lord, that you have given us your gospel, which is indeed the light of the world to draw us closer to you, enable us by your grace to praise you through the living words of your gospel. Let us pray to the Lord for his blessings and mercy. O Lord, who is the source of all blessings, help us and bless us. Make us worthy, O Lord, to continually offer to your unfading majesty praise, thanksgiving, glory, and adoration to the Lord Messiah, the living and slain sacrifice, by whose sacrifice all the sacrifices of mute creatures were abolished, 
And who is the perfect lamb which was slaughtered, who offered himself as a sacrifice, and by whose death all mankind was given life? Unto him who died, buried, who rose from the dead on the third day, ascended into heaven and is alive eternally, at this time of perfecting the divine sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, is due all the days of our life, now and forever. Amen. Our Lord Messiah, the Exalted One, who is in heaven and who recognizes the divine sacrifices, the one who willingly offered himself on Golgotha, at this time we ask that you mercifully and compassionately allow us to remain in your presence. In your holy presence the angels tremble, the archangels shudder and all the celestial beings are amazed. The confessors are singing hallelujah, the cherubim are praising you, and the seraphim extol your holiness. O Lord God, may your holy body and blood provide inner strength for my weakness, so that I may serve you. Turn your eyes away from my sins and shortcomings. May your justice not look closely because of the abundance of my sins. Do not deal with me according to my weaknesses of my miserable soul, but only according to the abundance of your mercy. Do not respond according to my deeds, dealings, and my sins, but rather do to me according to your mercy and the riches of your goodness. O Lord God, do not turn your face away from your people because of my transgressions, because of my sins. Do not reject your holy church from your grace. Because of my shameful deeds, do not deny your Holy Spirit to the discriminating sheep among your holy herd. If I am guilty because I sinned, what sin did these sincere and honest people do? If the lazy shepherd is evil, what sin did his faultless and pure sheep commit? You created them in your divine image. Do not destroy them because of my sins. Do not reject those whom you created in your image because of my sins. Do not seal the door of your blessings from those whom you bought with your precious blood because of my waywardness. Do not keep those who are saved by your holy cross from your gift because of my evil ways. Do not deny the divine gifts from those who were redeemed by your priceless passion because of my lawlessness and unrighteousness this hour. On the other hand, according to your abundance of your grace and mercy, sanctify my soul and the souls of these your people. Purify my corrupt thinking and the thoughts of these people. Make me worthy, despite of my weakness, to come close to your presence, so that I and these holy people can attend and participate in the holy mysteries. Cleanse my hands to serve your people with holy body and holy blood, and make their mouths worthy to receive them. O Lord, make us just and worthy to offer new praises from the mouths of all of us to you, your Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. O Lord God, who makes the sinner righteous, pardons our sins and makes us holy, blot out all my sins. Through your loving mercy, good Lord, wipe away the sins of all believers. O oh Lord God, in your mercy and goodness, remember us, our parents, brothers and sisters, our bishops, clergy, teachers of the faith, and all faithful children of your holy and glorious church. 
Lord God, comfort us in body, mind, and spirit. Shower your mercy upon us. Be the remission of our sins. Make us worthy of the good end that is set for all children of peace. To you we offer praise and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Weak and sinful as we are, let us confess and together say Amen. Holy is the Holy Father. Amen. Holy is the Holy Son. Amen. Holy is the living and Holy Spirit. Amen. We believe in the one true God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and all things visible and invisible. We believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, God and Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, he was crucified also for us, in the days of body of Pilate, suffered and died and was buried, in the third day he rose again, by his Father's own will, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, to judge both living and the dead, of his kingdom there will be no end. We believe in the one Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and Son together is worshiping and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and apostles. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostle church, we acknowledge both back to the prohibition of sin, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the new life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. Those who are celebrating their birthdays, those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries this week, please come forward for the prayer of thanksgiving. who are celebrating their birthdays this week. Sherwin C. Thomas, Brian R. Taragan, Joel J. Vargis, Rebecca Susan Omarapalil, Alyssa Maria Jacob, Annema Matthew, Noel M. Vargis, Ben Joe Thomas, George Vargis, Lindsay John, Benjamin Vargis, and Alyssa Sara Matthew. Let us pray. Gracious and Heavenly Father, God our Creator, who created us in His mercy in Your image, who saved us and made us children of the Kingdom through Your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank You on this blessed Sunday as we gather here today. Lord God, we pray for these, Your servants, who are celebrating their birthdays. Lord, as they have entered into a new year, Lord, we thank You that over the past year You have strengthened them and protected them. Lord, as they enter into the new year, we pray that you bless them with a year full of prosperity and your divine blessings upon them. 
Lord God, we thank you for the gift of marriage and those who are also celebrating their married life. Lord, we thank you as they enter into a new year in marriage. Lord, be with them and strengthen them and protect them. Lord, we thank you for these wonderful gifts that you give to each one of us. Help us to offer our lives in thanksgiving to you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Good morning. Let's thank God for this beautiful spring morning. Let's thank God for the opportunity to enjoy the cool weather in the morning and the colorful leaves as the forward progresses. Thank you, Ajit Dachan and Justin Dachan, lay leaders, and all who assisted the worship service today, assisting the worship today, especially the choir. Thank you. Vaini Vidi Viki. These are three Latin words, which means I came, I saw, I conquered. The legend is that military general Julius Caesar sent this battlefield report to the Roman Senate after he won the battle in, in present day Turkey. Our Evangelist Sakyam was in Detroit this weekend and they completely dominated the competition. And they're back, actually, with, uh, as the overall champions for the Midwest 2022 Kalamala. The English male solo uh, is won by Samu, first prize, and second prize was, was for Smith. And English female solo, first prize was for Leah. And the first prize for the English elocution was for Samu again. And second prize was for Shabin. And the Malayalam elocution, Ash, Ashik. And then the first prize for the group song, STMDC. And the second prize for Bible quiz. So, congratulations to STMDC UNS again for the marvelous win. I think they are not in here today, so they will be coming back next week. Again, congratulations. Thank you, Vajit and Jesu Rajan. for organizing and all the support give them. Service, Sunday, October 2nd, Malayalam Holy Communion Service. It will be starting at 10.15 a.m. Edo Mission. We'll be celebrating Edo Mission Week from tomorrow, that is Monday, September 26th, through Sunday, October 2nd. We are planning to conduct Sandhya Namaskaram every day at 8 p.m. by Zoom, starting from Monday through Saturday. As our diocesan instructions, special worship service and the offertory will be taken on Mission Sunday, that is 10 12, 2, that is next Sunday. Adult Mission members will assist Mission Sunday Holy Communion service and special services in the church. We request all members to pray and support all evening prayers and next 
missions and services secretary queen head of mission secretary sunday school there will be sunday school teachers meeting immediately after the service today and in the sanctuary all teachers are kindly requested to attend sunday school is held uh, each sunday at starting at 9 am shinu nayan sunday school superintendent youth group there will be youth group meeting uh, presided over by jasunachin immediately at the service in the sanctuary first in prayer that will be in the sanctuary at 10:30 am on friday september 30th 2022 we have a special visitor today it's not a visitor he is attending the worship for the first time baby jacob philip matthew son of george and dr jenny are right here yes uh, can you please bring the child forward for blessing we know our names are our parents expectations of us nammada madavadakal pradeeshal aanu nammada peru ipo ഒരാൾക്ക് ദീപു എന്ന് പേരിട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അതിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം മാതാക്കൾ വിചാരിക്കുന്നത് ഇവൻ വളർന്നു വരുമ്പോൾ ആയിരിക്കുന്നിടത്തൊക്കെയും പ്രകാശം പരത്തുന്ന ദീപം ആയിരിക്കും എന്ന് വിചാരിക്കും അപ്പോൾ അതുപോലെ ഈ കുഞ്ഞിനെ പേര് കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ജേക്കബ് ഫിലിപ്പ് ബാത്യു പുതിയ ദിവത്തിൻ്റെയും പഴയ ദിവത്തിൻ്റെയും എല്ലാ നന്മകളും ഉൾക്കൊള്ളുവാൻ ഉള്ള പേരൻസിൻ്റെ ആഗ്രഹം അത് സാധിക്കട്ടെ നമുക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for each and every child that is born in our midst. And we thank you for the great responsibility that you have given to us to care for them, to help them to grow, and to help them to know you, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Lord God, we thank you for George and Jenny, and we thank you that you protected them especially for the protection that you gave Jenny during the time of pregnancy and the safe delivery and lord god we thank you for this your child lord god we pray for jacob and we ask that you be with him in his growth lord keep him from all harm may your angels always guard over him keep this family in the shadow of the cross Lord we pray for John and be with him. We pray for this whole family. Lord teach us to love each one of the families in our midst and to care for them as our own blood. Lord God, we commit this family into your mighty hands and we place Jacob into your hands. Lord, we pray that your holy spirit be upon him and on the, this family and on each one of us. to grow in knowledge and understanding of you our lord and savior in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ we pray amen congratulations jenny and george do we have any other visitors today i don't have any 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 my list okay we have the condolences today nammala palarum arnya aanum ammade shaji achande pidav naattil marichu poi nk thomas subadeshi below father of our former brigadier reverend shaji thomas nadumbadam christos ilaba vigadi shaji റോഡ് ഷാജിയും തോമസിൻ്റെ അച്ഛൻ പിതാവ് എൻ കെ തോമസ് നിര്യാതനായി ശ്രീ എൻ കെ തോമസ് ഉപദേശി ഈസ് ഹി വാസ് ഹി വാസ് വിത്ത് മർത്തോമ ഇവാഞ്ചലിക് അസോസിയേഷൻ ഫോർ മെനി മെനി ഇയേഴ്സ് ഹി വാസ് ക്ലോൾ ടു ഇറ്റേണിറ്റി ദിസ് വീക്ക് അവർ ഹാർട്ട് ഫോൾ കോൺഡലൻസസ് ഫോർ ദ ബ്രീഡ് ഫാമിലി ഓൺ ബിഹാഫ് ഓഫ് ദി എസ് ടി എം ഡി സി ഫാമിലീസ് ബിഗാർ രാജിത് കെ തോമസ് you chaplain reverend jo- jasmin john and the managing committee i convey our sincere condolences to shajeshan sister leda and the bereaved family may the peace of god lord that passes all human understanding comfort and strengthen the sor- sorrowing family of nk thomas budeshi shall we rise for a prayer
Gracious and Heavenly Father, in this world where death is expected, when we lose our loved ones and the people who have been with us, we grieve and feel the pain of their loss. But Lord God, we are a community that trusts in you. You have promised us new life and eternal life, that this life on this earth does not end, but it continues in your presence for all those who believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And O oh Lord, remember the life of N.K. Thomas Ubadeshi. Lord God, we remember his tireless efforts to share the gospel and in also raising up a son to be a priest within this church. Lord, we thank you for his life and we pray that his life be a role model to each one of us. We pray for Shaji Achan and family, especially as they are going through this grieving time. Strengthen them and bless them. Lord God, we pray that your peace, which transcends all understanding, be with us, be with that family, and strengthen them through these difficult times. May all the arrangements regarding the funeral be done well and proper. We place all these things into your mighty hands. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Um, please be seated. Thank you and have a blessed week. Thank you, Lord Rangel. Now let's sing together hymn number 79 for the offer tree. Hymn 79.
God our Father, maker of all things and giver of all good gifts, we come before you at this time. We, your humble servants, weak and sinful as we are, out of the bounty that you have given to us, we bring back these gifts to you, knowing that you are the one who has given us these gifts. You are the one who has given us health. You are the one who has given us jobs and employment. You are the one who has given us the health and the life each and every day to take care of our families and our needs. And Lord God, we, your humble servants, bring these gifts before you as an offering, as a sacrifice of our praise and thanksgiving, that you may use it for the building up of your kingdom, which is the kingdom that proclaims Jesus Christ, the risen Lord and Savior. And Lord God, we pray that the proclamation of your gospel throughout this world may be strengthened through these gifts. Bless each one of these, your servants, who have given these offerings and gifts. Strengthen them each and every day and use them for your glory. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Respected Ajit dearly beloved members of St. Thomas Martha My Church, grace and peace to you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Once again, it is with great joy that I can be with you all and worship together with you on this holy Sunday. What is worship? That is something that we have to think about and remember every day. Why do we come here to church? What are we doing here today? Today I took the class for the 11th and 12th grade Sunday school students and I asked them, is everything that you do deliberate? Do you do everything with a purpose? See, if we don't have a purpose in life, then there is no meaning. If you wake up in the morning without purpose, then you will just continue sleeping in bed. Hello. Saturday very ball. No matter where I pony, language chera kada kanto ano thile. When we come on a Saturday and we don't have anything to do, we take an extra hour or two hours to sleep in. But on Monday, do you sleep in? What happens if you sleep in? Your boss is going to call. You're going, they're going to ask, what happened to you? Why do you wake up on a Monday early? Because you have a purpose. Why do you? Why do the children wake up on Monday to Friday? Because they have a purpose. They have to go to school. You have to go to work. So what is Sunday? We as a Christian community, what does, what do we know is Sunday? The day we worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you have that understanding, then your worship is worship in spirit and truth. That is what Jesus told the Samaritan woman. A day is coming when you will worship me in spirit and truth. Are we worshiping in spirit and truth? If you don't know truth, then how can you worship in truth? If you don't know the Holy Spirit at work, then how can you worship in the power of the Spirit? These are questions we have to ask. Before I begin, I just want to share a few things. Today we have a youth fellowship after church. We will meet up on the balcony. 
and every time that I am here, I am planning to lead that in-person youth meeting after church. Secondly, um, our colleges have begun and I'm, I have started visiting colleges. Two weeks ago, I went down to UIC and uh, DePaul uh, along with Sharon Achen at Chicago Marthoma Church. Because our youth are scattered all over the place, um, we meet with whoever we can meet. So one, my desire is to have a youth ministry or college ministry that meets with all the St. Thomas Christian youths because we as a community, whether we are from Silo, Siro Malabar or Orthodox or Marthoma or CSI, we all have to work together because we live in a world where our faith is eroding, our culture is eroding, and we as a diaspora community are lost. And that is something that we need to pray about and work for. Today we live in a world of changes. But are we thinking about what these changes mean for us? See, in the Martha My Church, we have taken many things for granted. We assumed certain things. No one questioned it. No one asked the questions. So today, and in the coming days, others will talk for you. Others will make the question. Others will answer those questions. Others will tell you what to believe. What is the foundation of the Marthoma Church? For what did the reformers in the 1800s fight for? Why did the reformist faction, Matthews Mar Athanasius Metropolitan and Thomas Mar Athanasius Metropolitan, Abraham Malpan and Kaidiel Givargis Malpan and other Achans and people, laity, what is it that they fought for that they were kicked out of their community, lost everything? Was it for some traditions? They fought for something that we take so granted today. It pains me because our youth don't know the Bible. What are we teaching in Sunday school? Is anyone asking in the diocese about the quality of the education that you receive, your children receive? You know, the Martha My Church was the pinnacle of Sunday school movement in our community. In when the people came to work in the cement factory and they started a Marthoma congregation and church there and they had the Sunday school, do you know how many children attended? Hundreds. And was it just Marthoma? Children came from Orthodox Church, from Catholic Church, from Hindu background in the neighborhoods. Where is our Sunday school today? By 11th and 12th grade, the children say, this doesn't make any sense. We don't want to sit in class. You're right. Why should you sit in class? What are they teaching you? Who is going to ask the questions? Abraham Malpan fought for this so that you can read it. 
not so that others can tell you what is in it. See, the only thing that they cannot touch is this. But everything else they will touch. Because this is too sacred for anyone to touch. No one has the courage to rip up this Bible. But look around you. The passages that are troubling, you ignore it. The world tells you to ignore it. But, the world, but what God tells you is not to ignore those passages, but understand it. Today's Evangelion, what the church, what the Saba said, you read only verses 13 to 40. Don't read 41 to 46. Because... Judgment is too scary. Away from me, I never knew you. Ningale and Ariel Nidla and I Chabangam Naranjikina Shabdam Kelpan Yangale Edea Karid and the Namale Pratanagal Londa. What is the ethos of the Marthoma Church? Why does the Marthoma Church allow people from the charismatic side to worship with us? Because we don't think that the charismatic side is wrong. In the 1900s, early 20th century, when the Pentecostal movement came, it was a correction to the church that neglected the Holy Spirit. Kristiya Girtanam. What are those songs in there? Parishutatmave. Parishutatmave ne goruche. Are they ever done one another? This is the Martha Ma Church. It is not a church that is dictated by one group. The whole church agrees what we are. But if you don't know, and if you allow others to tell you what is in there, let me tell you. A big problem today is this concept of patriarchy. Patriarchy is a sin. The power. Why is it a sin? We have no right to place women in submission. But it is also the human state. Jesus, when he was anointed by that woman and the disciples and the Pharisees stood there condemning that woman, Jesus didn't side with the disciples and say, yes, she should have given that money to the poor. Instead, Jesus said, the poor you will have with you. Sin will always be in this world. But she has done a good thing for me. She recognized her Lord and Savior. See, America has a problem with the king. American theology has a problem because they don't like the British king. So for them, even though they say Jesus Christ is Lord, they cannot understand what a submission to a king is. Our Lord is not just your friend. He's not just your father. He is your king. He is a king that sits on a throne of judgment. To those who do his will, he says, You on my right, who have done my will, come, inherit the kingdom, enjoy the blessings. But we have a problem with hell, so we don't talk about that. But Jesus says, 
you who do not follow my will, my commands, away from me. The Bible is not just a passage you read here and there. What does it mean from beginning to end, from Genesis to Revelation? Otherwise, I tell you, why even hold this? Just Thomas Jefferson caught up the Bible because he didn't want to believe in certain things. Then why don't you do that? Believe what you want to believe. None of this matters. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Oh, we live in a scientific age. Science can tell us where we came from. But you ask an astrophysicist, the point of origin, what happened at the Big Bang, they will tell you, I don't know. Something happened, but I don't know. Then tell me, does science give you all your answers? In each one of your hearts, you have a longing. It is called a holy longing. You know why people have holes in their hearts? Why they fill it with love and money and cars and possessions and houses? Why they fill their lives with girlfriend and boyfriend after girlfriend and boyfriend? Why they get married over and over? Why they buy one car and two car and five cars? Because there is something that they try to fill. There's always a longing. There is a longing. What does the Bible tell you that longing is? What have your parents and grandparents been telling you what that longing is? That longing is God. Why do billions of people around the world, from Muslims to Hindus to Buddhists to uh, so many other religions, what are all these people looking for? You think we are all fools? Billions of people are fools, brainwashed? Or is there something to it? You are missing something in your life. That is God. Will you know God? Jesus Christ says, Come to me, all you who are weary. I will give you rest. Do any of you have rest? Are you restless? Come to Jesus today. Truly, he will give you rest. That is why Stephen, as he on his knees, took the stones from the Pharisees and the people. They smashed his skull in. He said, I see my Lord sitting at the right hand of God the Father. The state of our church is in a poor condition. There is a spiritual decline, not because of anything else, but because no one is reading this. This is what our forefathers fought for. We hear what we want to hear. We listen the sermons that we want to listen to. When the Son of Man comes, are we ready? When the Son of Man comes, are we ready? Or do we just listen to whatever we want to listen to? How do you even understand this passage, the sheep and the goats? In chap Matthew chapter 25, there are three parables. Parable of the bridesmaid, the talents, and this, the sheep and the goats. You say, I don't understand. That is why Jesus gave you three parables. 
you read them together and you will understand Jesus taught the simple people he didn't go and teach the Pharisees and the scholars and the big theologians he spoke to the common people to you sadharanakara yesu christune vaajanam kekkan vannathu വേദശാസ്ത്രജന്മാർ എന്തിനാ വന്നത് യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ തർക്കിക്കാനാ വന്നത് അവിടെ ഉദ്ദേശം വേറെ ആയിരുന്നു ബട്ട് ജീസസ് പ്രീച്ച്ഡ് ടു ദ പോർ ദ മിസ്റ്ററബോൾ വൺ എ ആഫ്റ്റർ എ സെർമൻ ഹിയർ വൺ ഓഫ് ദി അങ്കിൾസ് ഹിയർ ടോൾ മീ ആച്ചാ യുവർ സെർമൻ ഇസ് വെരി ഹാർഡ് ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ഫോർ എസ് കോമൺ പീപ്പിൾ don't think of yourself like that god has made you in his image he has endowed you with wisdom what does james book of james says i know say you are a sakyam gar james yakobin lehanam nalladai padichu because they wanted to win but what does it say there is a wisdom that you need ask god he will give it to you you want to understand what is in this gospel what is in the bible ask god don't ask me i will teach you as best as i can but i am only a man my language is not the greatest ask the greatest teacher for wisdom the bible is not the interpretation of a person or a group of person it is the interpretation of the church which is the people of god which is the body of christ so there are three parables here and what do they teach us they point to the day of judgment to be prepared i know we are busy we are all busy we have work we have family i also went through that i worked i know the struggles i seen my parents work but what is it that our forefathers taught us even in the midst of nothing they spent time with god they read the bible they sang the songs they prayed they prayed together as a family whatever problems we are facing today you come to god in prayer together not i cannot pray for you and give you peace i cannot pray for you and save you in our prayers it says no matter how many people pray for us we will not be saved that is in our prayers that is in our namaskara kramam which is something that is taken from the surya orthodox church no matter how much we pray for others they will not be saved because god wants to hear you when the son of man comes 25 verse 31 what kind of return it is it is jesus christ sitting on a throne to judge i who wear this i who stand before you as a teacher if i take this lightly jesus christ has said you will be judged more harshly james book of james be aware you who teach you will be judged more harshly than others we have to take this seriously if you are a sunday school teacher remember you will be judged for how you teach these children when king david decided to bring back the ark of the covenant to jerusalem 
he brought it on a bullock cart. And one of the people, when that cart hit a rock and it all, the ark almost tumbled, he touched it to keep that ark from falling over. And the anger of the Lord rose and that person died. And you ask, what kind of evil God is this? God is not evil. God is holy. Only those who are holy, the priests of Israel, are allowed to touch that ark, to be in that presence of God. If you do not come into the presence of holy without proper preparation, you will face the wrath of the holy. You will die in your sins. What does the Apostle Paul say to the Corinthians? Some of you are sick and some of you have died because you have mistreated the table of the Lord. I'm telling you, dear friends, if you are not ready to partake in the Holy Qurbana, if you have anything against anyone, don't. Don't. Why place the sin, why place the judgment on your heads? Understand who you are in front of. You stand before the Holy One of Israel, the judge. But we live in a world where there is no, as one of the English writers said, you have cut off the beard of God and the horns of the devil. So live as you want, do as you want. But as Joshua made that witness before the people, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Who do you serve today? That is the question. That is the question. Innu ni vannidum ende priyathava ponmugam kaanennum kandiduvan Innu ni vannidum ende priyathava ponmugam yaanunnu kandiduvan Etra kalam yangal kathirun nidanam Yatrayum parthu kon immaru vin madhi Ennu ni van nidum ende priyatava Punmugam yanunnu kandidu van when will you come, Lord Jesus, so that we may see your face? Do you wish to see the face of Jesus? When he comes, how will you be? Will you be like those who are on the left or on the right? Will you be the ones that, say, that Jesus says, come and inherit the kingdom with the saints? Make a decision today. I only have one thing to say. We live in a biblically illiterate world. Don't let others dictate to you what the faith is. Wanachan told me when I was doing my practical work as we were going to a house visit, he forgot his Bible and he quickly returned and turned back and he said, I forgot to take my tool. This is my weapon. I forgot to take it. When you come to church, when you come to youth meetings, you have to come with this. When you go to a prayer meeting, what do we see in this church today is this is lost. It is 
somewhere gathering dust. But this is the church of Christ. It is not my church, it is not your church, it is his church. And the church as it has always been will continue, no matter what. And we will pray, we will work, and the Spirit of God will work with us and renew us. May God bless you and strengthen you. I now request one of you to lead us in prayer. take it as our own. I pray that you're truly able to become believers that believe in the Christ that will come again. I want to pray for our church, our organizations, the Sunday School, the Youth Fellowship, Sevilla Sango, and our mission. Lord, for you to be with them and lead their ministries, and to bless all that they do. Lord, I take a moment to pray for everyone here today. Lord, I pray for all those who may be suffering, mentally or physically, those who may be experiencing big changes in their lives, or who are, who are in need, those who are in the middle of taking big decisions, Lord, I pray for those experiencing spiritual turmoil and loneliness. I also pray for those who are experiencing joys and blessings. Lord, at this time, I pray for everyone here today um, to continue to be with us and to guide us, to lead us, and to bless us. Lord, I pray for all those who have come prepared um, to join in the Holy Corbana. Lord, I pray that we are able to put all our burdens and griefs at your feet and come with open hearts and minds, ready to receive your body and blood. All this in your holy name I pray. Amen. Let's submit ourselves before the word of God that we heard today. Let's ask God for forgiveness that we neglect God's word in our life. Vishita Gurbana Kai Kullu Anayi Naam Uru Munnu Vello Pradayangale Deva Sanadil Samar Pikyam Vishita Gurbana Kai Kullu Anayi Uru Ngi Vannu Rikki Naur Adad Sthanangalil Irinayetri Nindu Ondu Vishita Gurbana Kai Kullu Anayi Agrahi Kya Thaur Adad Sthanangalil Irinayetri Nindu Ondu എല്ലാവരും ചേർന്ന് കുംഭസാരത്തിൻ്റെ ഈ പ്രാർത്ഥന എൻ്റെ പിന്നാലെ ഏറ്റ് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചാട്ടെ സർവശക്തിയുള്ള ബാവാദംപുരാനെ നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായും ലോകത്തെ രക്ഷിപ്പാനായി തൻ്റെ കൃപയാൽ വിശുദ്ധ കന്യകമറിയാമിൽ നിന്ന് ജനിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി കഷ്ടത അനുഭവിച്ച് മരിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് രക്ഷ നൽകിയ മഷിയാ തമ്പുരാനെ നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായും സകലത്തെയും ജീവിപ്പിക്കുന്നവനും ആശ്വസിപ്പിച്ച് ശുദ്ധീകരിക്കുന്നവനുമായ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവാൻ തമ്പുരാനെ നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായും ഞാൻ ചെയ്തു പോയ സകല പാവങ്ങളെയും ഏറ്റുപറഞ്ഞ് സങ്കടപ്പെടുന്നു സത്യമായി അനുദപിക്കുന്നവരെ കൈക്കൊള്ളുമെന്ന് 
നീ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്ന വാഗ്ദാനം ഞാൻ വിശ്വസിച്ച് സകലത്തിലും പിഴച്ചു എന്ന് ഞാൻ ഏറ്റു പറയുന്നു വിചാരത്തിലും വചനത്തിലും പ്രവൃത്തിയിലും ഞാൻ പിഴച്ചു നിൻ്റെ കൽപ്പനകളെല്ലാം ഞാൻ ലംഘിച്ചു നിൻ്റെ ശിക്ഷയ്ക്ക് പാത്രമാവുകയും ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നു കരുണ്യവാനും കൃപ നിറഞ്ഞവനുമായ കർത്താവെ ചുങ്കക്കാരനെയും അപാവിയായ സ്ത്രീയെയും കുരിശിൽ വെച്ച് കള്ളനെയും കൈക്കൊണ്ട പ്രകാരം എന്നെയും കൈക്കൊണ്ട് നിൻ്റെ തിരുവചനത്തിൻ്റെ തണുപ്പാൽ എന്നെ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കണമേ കർത്താവെ ഞാൻ അനുഭവിക്കുന്ന തിരുശരീരവും തിരുരക്തവും എനിക്ക് ശിക്ഷാവിധിക്കും കുറ്റത്തിനുമായി തീരാതെ ജീവനെ രക്ഷയ്ക്കുമാക്കി തീർക്കണമേ ആമേ ദോസ് ഓ പ്രിപ്പയർ ദം സെൽസ് ഫോർ റിസീവിംഗ് ഹോളി കമ്മ്യൂണിയൻ പ്ലീസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഇൻ യുവർ റെസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് പ്ലേസസ് ആൻഡ് റിപ്പീറ്റ് ആഫ്റ്റർ മീ ദിസ് പ്രയർ ഓഫ് കൺഫഷൻ ഐ കൺഫസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹാവ് സിൻ ദ അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് യു ഓ ഫാദർ സൺ and holy spirit in thought word and deed i'm sorry with all my heart for these my sins i believe in your promise that you will receive all those who truly repent o lord who is merciful and full of grace accept me even as you accepted the publican the woman who was a sinner and the thief on the cross comfort me with the consolation of your word o lord grant that your holy body and holy blood in which i now partake may redeem me from judgment and condemnation and bring me to life and wholeness amen may god almighty be compassionate to all of you who have truly confessed your sins god has freely forgiven your sins to make you worthy to partake in the holy communion amen Dearly beloved, pray with me that this service may be acceptable to our Lord. Lord, we humbly knock at your door. We have come to your house and pray for your blessings. Sanctify your servants by your truth. O Lord, you hear and answer the prayers of your people. You have promised that two or three are gathered in your name. You will be in our midst. We pray that you send us your gift of your Holy Spirit. to make us dwelling in us your people as he dwelt in the apostles o god and lord of all make us worthy to greet one another with the kiss of peace freed from all insincerity and united in love to your father to your only son and to your holy spirit we give you praise and glory now and forever amen peace be with you all and also with you in the love of the lord god let us greet one another in peace may the peace of our lord jesus christ abide with us forever may the love and peace of our lord jesus christ abide with us forever may the love and peace of our lord jesus christ abide with us forever may the love and peace of our lord jesus christ abide with us forever May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. 
May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. Brothers and sisters, having received this holy and divine peace, let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. Gracious Lord, we bow before you. Merciful Father, you dwell on high. Yet condescend to look upon things that are lowly. Bless now those who have bowed their heads in your presence with the grace of your only Son, with whom and with the Holy Spirit you accept all praise and glory, now and forever. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us participate in this Holy Kurbana, which is now offered to us with commitment, reverence, humility, purity of heart, love, true faith and devotion to God the Father to whom all things belong is offered this sacrifice of grace, peace and praise in a spirit of unity and concord. The love of God the Father, grace of the only begotten Son and the communion and abiding presence of the Holy Spirit be with you all dearly beloved now and forever. And, and with also you, with you. you. May our hearts be with Christ on high. Our hearts are so true with, with the Lord. Lord. To sing praises and worship the Creator of all things. For surely is good and right. Who is adorned by the heavenly host, sun and moon and all the stars, the earth and seas and all that dwell there, angels and archangels, thrones and powers, cherubim and seraphim ever proclaiming. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of his glory. O shine in the highest, blessed is the U.S. come, and it's come in the name of the Lord. O shine in the highest. When the sinless one of his own will chose to suffer death for us sinners, he took bread in his holy hands. Bless, O Lord. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it, and gave it to his apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. In the same manner he took the cup. Bless, O Lord. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and gave it to his apostles, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Thus, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. O Lord, we remember your death, we celebrate your resurrection, and we await your second coming. May your blessings rest upon us all. O Lord, we remember your death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and look forward to your second coming to judge the world in righteousness and truth. We offer this service and sacrifice entreating you not to deal with us according to our sins, but according to your own abundant mercy and saying, Have mercy upon us, O Lord our God. We give thanks to you, we glorify you, and we worship you. O source of all goodness, have mercy on us and bless us. O Lord, who is one in kingship and eternal essence with your Son, who spoke in the Old and New Testaments, and came upon our Lord the Messiah as a dove at the river Jordan, and in the upper room descended upon the apostles as a fiery tongue. Send to us the same Holy Spirit to sanctify us and this holy Kurbana. Answer unto us, O Lord. Answer unto us, O Lord. Answer unto us, O Lord. And by your grace, have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Holy Spirit sanctify this bread, that it may be the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Holy Spirit sanctify the wine, in this chalice, that it may be the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord 
and sanctify the bodies and souls of those who receive these gifts, that they may bear fruit for the stability of your holy church. Establish ever firmly your holy church, founded on the rock of faith, against which the gates of hell shall not prevail, and preserve her to the end from strife and error. To you, with the Son and the Holy Spirit, we offer praise and thanksgiving, both now and forever. Amen. Look with mercy, O Lord, on your holy church throughout the world, on all bishops who bear the burden of leading and guiding her, especially our Father in God, the Metropolitan Theodosius Marthoma, the moderators of CSA and CNI, Archbishop of the Anglican Church, our fathers in God, the Episcopas, Yaki Marco Los Suffragan Metropolitan, Joseph Mar Bernabas Suffragan Metropolitan, Thomas Mar Timotheos, Isaac Mar Felixinos, Abraham Mar Paulos, Matthew Mar Macarios, Gregorios Mar Stephanos, Thomas Mar Titos, priests, deacons, evangelists, faithful members of our church, and seekers of the faith. Lord, we remember all who exercise authority in various countries, especially in this country. Give to each one your Holy Spirit, that they may diligently work in your vineyard. Lord, have mercy. Lord, remember the Mother of our Lord, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Holy Apostles, the Prophets, the Preachers, Evangelists, Martyrs, Professors, and all the Saints. Lord, we remember the three counts of the Nicaea, Constantinople, and Ephesus, and all the Holy Fathers who participated in them. Make us worthy to follow in their footsteps. Lord, we also remember all the faithful who are departed and fallen asleep in the true faith. Grant that, that we may also be counted worthy of the remission of our sins and be gathered into your heavenly kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we thank you for the beautiful universe you have created and the life and the possibilities of it. Forgive us, O Lord, for we have distorted the universe for our greed and selfishness. Help us, O Lord, to be good and faithful stewards for the fulfillment of your will. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The blessing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all, dearly beloved, now and forever. And with you also. Brothers and sisters, we must pray to the Lord always for reconciliation and peace, for his blessings and mercy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord for the unity in the church and harmony between all people and communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray for peace in our families and grace in our hearts so that we may be strengthened in faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray for recovery of health for the sick, comfort for the distressed, deliverance for prisoners, safety for travelers, unity and love for those who are estranged. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us give glory to God the Father, Lord of all, and worship his only begotten Son, and praise the holy and life-giving Spirit. O Lord of all blessings, we commit our lives into your keeping and pray for your blessings. Gracious God, have mercy upon us and bless us. Vishuddha Pita Ve Sanyo Jiti Veli Nintani Yen Enikai Marichave Etenne Vimoji Sudanetana, 
सुदने वंदनम रक्षयन मर्मा ध्यन मंदियन आविशुधात्मा वे स्तोत्र मुनानंदम त्रित्व में जंगले तूने चीड़े spend some time in intercessory prayer and let us pray for our church and all its leaders and let us pray for the shepherds of the people that they may have the discernment to teach and to guide and lead us and rule over us in the right way let us pray for our metropolitan as he is traveling these days in this diocese let us pray that all grace and blessings and protection be upon him let us pray for our clergy all who are serving in various capacities especially for our dear ajit achan and all the achans in the midwest including all the senior clergy those who have spend their years serving the lord who are now although they are at rest and taking rest in retirement they still continue to be our priests and pastors let us uphold them in prayers let us pray for the missionaries and the evangelists all those who are working in various mission fields and neighborhood missions and various other capacities those who are at work within our churches those who are giving guidance in counseling and those who are being voluntary servants in various capacities those who work in our media team and in our outreach ministries those who are praying for the needs of those around them let us pray that the strength of god be with each and every one of those who serve in the various ministries of the church let us pray for those in our community who are going through various struggles especially going through various health crises whether it is pain of the body sicknesses such as cancer and dialysis and other health issues those who are suffering from illnesses of the mind who are facing depression and anxiety and worry and all kinds of problems in their life let us pray that the peace of god give them the comfort of their mind let us pray for those who are struggling with emotional pains and let us pray for those who are struggling spiritually let us uphold them all in our prayers let us pray for those who are grieving especially let us pray for the family of shaji thomas achan who is grieving the loss of his father let us uphold that family in prayers let us remember all those who are grieving their loved ones remembering those who have gone before them let us uphold them in prayers those families may god comfort them let us bring before god's throne of grace our own personal needs and the needs of those who have asked for our prayers those who are afraid to tell anyone but have chosen to share their pains with us let us bring those prayers those needs before god o oh god the father of our lord jesus christ to make perfect the offerings and oblations presented before you sanctify our body souls and spirits so that with pure and confident hearts we may address you as god and father and pray our father in heaven Hallowed be your name may your kingdom come may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread 
Forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the time of trial, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the grace, mercy, and blessings of the holy and glorious Trinity, uncreated, self-existent, eternal, adorable, and one in essence, be with you all, dearly beloved, now and forever. And also with you, O holy and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. Holy things for holy people. Holy is the one Father, holy is the one Son, holy is the one Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. One from the beginning, forever and ever. Amen. The one Holy Father who created the world in His mercy is with us. Amen. The one Holy Son who saved it by His precious passion is with us. Amen. The one living Holy Spirit who makes perfect and fulfills all that is and that has been is with us. May the name of the Lord be blessed as in the beginning, both now and forever. Amen. Now as we come to your table, we recall those gone before us. Grant their lives be an example. Beloved, pray for me. As for our dark days are like grass, we bloom like the flowers of the field. Bless us, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. O Lord, at your command, death held its sway. You abolish death through your resurrection from the dead. Therefore we praise and exalt you. O Lord, every mouth shall sing your praise. O Lord, who gathers up the children of Adam from everywhere, bless us and help us. O Son of God, your death has changed our death into life. Raise us from the dust so that we may ever praise you. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is worthy of glory and worship forever. From the beginning and from generation to generation, may he be praised. Alleluia. And will come again for our resurrection and for the renewal of our race. Grant we pray forgiveness of sins to your servants through your own atoning sacrifice. Amen. O Lord God, graciously bless these your servants who partake of your most precious body and blood broken on Calvary for the forgiveness of sins that they may abide in your presence forever. Amen. The blessings of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all those who bear these sacred mysteries, all those who dispense them, all those who receive them, all those who have labored in them, who have participated, and who shall participate in them. The grace of God be with us all, in both worlds, 
now and forever. Lord, have mercy and bless us. Glory and praise be to you, our Lord and everlasting refuge. The holy body and holy blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, broken and shed on the cross of Calvary, is given to you for the health of body and soul. Take this with thanksgiving in remembrance that Christ died for you. Amen.
but for life and salvation to us all. O God, grant us your blessing. Holy your shall I stand before you. Every tongue shall praise your holy name, for you give life to the dead, and you are hopeful among the great. We praise you, O Lord, and give your thanks and mercy towards us. We praise you, O Lord, because in your abundant mercy you have fed and strengthened us with the precious body and blood of your Son and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have thereby made us one with him and with all the members of his mystical body. We pray you to give us grace to continue in that holy fellowship and ever to offer glory and praise to you and to your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit. Amen. Agrityavam karagalam ninsopayam Vedipakena me 
ഞങ്ങളുടെ കടങ്ങൾ കുറവുകളും നീ ഓർത്തിടരുതേ മേൽപ്പാടുകളിൻ കൂട്ടത്തിൽ ഞങ്ങളെ എണ്ണി എന്നും സ്വർഗം അനുഭവിപ്പീനൻ my beloved brothers and sisters i commend you to the grace and blessing of the holy and glorious trinity depart in peace and serve the lord with the gifts and blessings you have received from the atoning sacrifice of our lord amen you both far and near who are saved by the victorious cross of the lord and sealed with the seal of holy baptism this holy trinity will forgive you your sins and comfort your souls Amen. Pray for us, my brothers and sisters, weak and sinful as I am, that we may obtain mercy and help. Depart now in peace, filled with gladness and rejoicing. May the Lord accept your ministration and help us by your prayers. Amen. when i give the qurbana some people get broken peace it is not because there is a lack of bread or because i don't like you <laughs> that broken peace when you get it remember that is a broken body of christ and so i have to tell you in this day and age because we don't know these things and i don't want you to feel hurt uh, by this because you might call it a injustice but it is not an injustice it is communicating this bread it is the body of jesus christ broken for you so remember these holy mysteries and keep it holy